So my name is Andrew Williams, and um, I got introduced to the Park Prison Ministry through apologetics. Um, you know, it's a course that we've taken, and it's basically based on history, but it, it also gives you artifacts to where you can prove that the Bible is true. So that's kind of how I got involved into the church, and then it just went from there. So when I came to prison, I made a, a deal with myself that I would, you know, take the things that was not no good in my life and, and change them for good. This is my third time being in. So um, more on a spiritual level, I have been changed, you know, from my heart. And uh, I've had more compassion. I've been more compassionate. I'm not in, you know, the gang life that I used to be in. Um, but he's, he's really opened a door for me and an opportunity. It's something that I've never really had. So to have an opportunity to, to be part of something, you know, to be blessed, um, needless to say, is uh, it's a blessing for me and my family as well, too, because, I mean, I really wasn't raised, you know, just kind of like in a godly household. So it's, it's really been a it's been a journey. So I started out by going and getting my GED. Um, they told me that you have to do that before you could apply for college. But while I was waiting on getting my GED, I took the Foundation for Biblical Institute from this chapel, and I got my bachelor's degree from there. Um, I got my ordination and my doctor degree from Universal Life Church, and then I went and got my GED and enrolled in Tulsa Community College, and now I'm enrolled in Cypress in Bible College. I was kind of hoping that I could go out there and, and, and speak to kids that have had the same kind of life that I lived. You know, living in a household where you really didn't feel like you could actually love or care about anybody. But now that I have that knowledge, I really feel like I need to share that. Because a lot of times, like, kids are raised up in households where, you know, their parents might be busy. They might not always be there. And I can actually, I can feel that. Like, I've been there. So that's kind of what I want to do is just use my ministry and use what God has given me to go out and make the better um, I met Jim Carmichael and his wife Jody and Jim Pinkston. So, you know, when they gave me an opportunity um, here a while back, they gave us an opportunity to preach and kind of pick up some slack here on the yard, um, as well as new life behavior. And it's been a blessing in my life because not really having family, it gave me something to feel like I'm, I'm accepted. And, and it was the love of God that was really shown by that whole church. You know, there's people that come in and sing and, and stuff like that. And it's like everybody that I run into from that church, I mean, it just, they got the love of God. And that's something that I've never experienced in my life. Um, I would like to start off by saying, like, the new life behavior that the uh, Prison Park Church brings to here has lifted people up. And um, to have somebody that is willing to pour into you when you really haven't poured into anybody else, that's a big step for here because a lot of people that are here, they feel like they don't have nothing going for them. But through the apologetics, through the new life behavior that the church is funding, people's lives are being changed. And that's the number one thing that we want to shoot for here. Being a chapel worker, going day in and day out, grading papers and whatnot, that, that may seem like a burden at times. But I have to look at the blessing side of it. People come down here and pour their lives out to us. And if it wasn't for the churches coming in and funding this, then these lives would not be changed. So, you know, starting out, um, I would see people come down here because, you know, three or four years ago, I just started coming down here. And um, I wouldn't see much of a change on the yard. But here recently, after the courses and, and everything else that has been going on, people have actually been going back and starting Bible studies. They're doing prayer call. Um, they're basically going and helping people that, that don't have no help. So to be down here and have first eye of that is, is a blessing. Um, I've seen people that, that have just got here and, and got saved. I've also seen people on the yard that have never went to church really and recently got saved, and now they're trying to give their testimony, they're trying to become part of the church. And that comes to the acceptance and the love that y'all share.